Guys, don't oversleep. It's actually started a long time ago. You just look out the window and see what's going on. Chicken leg, man. Wake up, we're coming. It's a huge wave. It's like a tsunami up to chicken leg. Wake up, it's about to flood the place. Wow, I've never seen such a huge amount. That's what it is. Our old house is about to get flooded, chicken foot. Are you awake or not? What's going on, you see? Good morning, brother. Are you in the mood to do anything today? Anything really interesting? I don't know what we can do today. Just look out the window. What a beautiful day it is that we can get through a beautiful day today without any adventures we'll have to find. Let's go out and ask around and see if there's anything we need help with. Maybe go to the villager's village. Do you really want these adventures so badly because they can be either good or just awful? I mean, look around you. It's such a quiet, beautiful day. I think if you want to have an adventure, we'll get into something bad. Look at the beautiful house we've built. Now that's something a resident needs. Hey, you barely toss the appetizing from the looks of it at all. Even I am drooling delicious nuggets. Come here. I have urgent news to you. Yes, I see a favorable specialist in the village for us already as relatives. And so we want you to come. There's a huge tsunami headed for our village. Don't know if you've ever seen it or not, but it's about to destroy our village, so I want to warn you and also ask for your help. I was wondering if you could help us, and this question we can give you resources. Please protect our village. And this is the very adventure, bro, I was talking about. I don't know what a tsunami is, but yeah, we'll help you out. So where were we? Yummy, yummy, yummy nuggets. I could eat you my, so yummy, 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 yummy nuggets. Good to go. And look over here, there's a cave and there's resources where you can pick them up. Somehow our village, and then we'll eat you. Oh, we'll thank you guys later, so go in there and get whatever you need. And you know, I've been here with you guys. Remember me, I'm Patrick. How weird is this guy? But look, they do have some kind of cave here. And for a second, I even thought I was going to be lured into some kind of trap because nuggets all want to eat the worst fate. Look, there's chests of drawers. Take whatever you want. Okay, let's help them protect this village from the tsunami. I have no idea what it is, but we're gonna build a lot of stuff today. So we went back home and you know why we have to protect our home first because our home is also very important and I understood from the conversation with this resident that something is flying at us that can destroy everything and I would really like it to be preserved but also our beautiful house. We brought every snowflake here and made a house out of ice so we could live like a real one. Well like the refrigerator we once were before we became fried brats. We just really love to reminisce about that time. It's just beautiful. Oh, bro, when you just make me think of those times, I immediately get tears would be frozen. Very beautiful. And then lay there and had no idea what was in store for us next that we would be swimming in. It was also, of course, beautiful, but Frozen was funnier even when you were with you. Remember two chickens or what? I do not remember exactly, but it was also fun. But do not need to remember the past, need to live with you, and I insisted we're looking for a house. So, by the way, what are you doing? I'm building a roof. You're just throwing rocks. Hey, I'm not just throwing rocks. It's called art, but it's still defense. So great, you and I have protected the house. Protected the house perfectly, and now nothing can break it. And that's right, now you and I have to protect it. These are the beds right here. It must be some kind of tsunami rain in general sound. Tsunami, like I don't know. It's like Japanese, like some dude's just gonna come along and give us a couple moves. You know, like some samurai will just take a ball and kill on a bet, and that's it. And it's not gonna be cool, of course. It might get hurt, but I'm all for that rain. Let's protect them with a canopy like that. You know, it's not so much that I'm misled and in some kind of a tsunami of words as it is that we're even defending it now. Have you ever wondered why the residents need what they call beds? Why is it even necessary if the scary thing is that if you are nuggets, you will be eaten because you are usually called food by people? And it always seemed absurd to me. What else is food? And the inhabitants called it food too. Out to protect our brothers. I liked your point for protecting our brothers, but if food is our brothers, then people get that from our mom and dad, or how does that even work out? You know, that's something I definitely don't want to think about anymore because it's, it's really weird and let's just make them the most protective of our homes. I've played a little bit of Minecraft and I know that this block that I have right now is one of the most secure. It can withstand almost any attack. It can withstand almost any onslaught, but nothing you also build some. Of course, it's probably strong. I've never seen it before. What does a solid block have to 
do with anything. No, I have the most fragile block, but it glows. That's cool. You know, when you have a house that glows, no one can lose it. Everyone can see where it is at night. I mean, they're supposed to protect these houses, and I thought they should be decorated. I totally forgot about that. I'm sorry. I'm just a meathead. I'm Nuggets, and you're pretty good for a Naga, too. Don't thank me for saying that. So great, you and I need to think about not only protecting these houses, but let's build them new houses because our defense, I think it's kind of lame, and the best thing we can do is build them completely new houses. Again, I want to take wool. You're gonna ask me why wool. It's because it's soft. And I think if something were to fall, like some meteorite or a hard hit of some kind on the house, it's not going to do anything to it. It's just going to crumple it up. It will straighten back up, and all the inhabitants who are inside, they will just be in a soft, nice house like a blanket. It'll even be kind of fun for them. It's like a new experience. It's interesting. I think they'll be scared, of course. Man, I don't know if I've told you this before or not, but you're a genius. You should have been a safe house architect if that even exists at all, by the way. Yeah, we didn't choose to become one, but that's okay. But we can catch up and fulfill those dreams and build the coolest houses. I don't really like building houses, or I like it. I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> So let's figure out with you now what's the house gonna be like. It's going to have two floors. You then build the second floor, and I will now build such beautiful glass. It will consist of blue glass and also black glass, and it's just incredible, Sochi. More on some, you know, Lego constructor that connects like this expired. It will be beautiful, and it will please the inhabitants who will be able to settle here. And I think they'll be so happy that they'll just kind of jumping ahead of the madness and will already forget that there is a tsunami coming at them. I honestly still don't understand what it is. Oh, brother, it's cool that we're building a house with you and you don't know what a tsunami is. Why did you start stuttering like a grandpa before you started talking? We're three today. How could you get old at 3 and all p.m.? Oh, man, you chicken legs sure get old faster than nuggets. We nuggets live practically forever. Did you know that the oldest nugget is like, what, three weeks old now? And that's the oldest counts for us. In fact... You know, never mind. Why did I say that in the first place? You better look at how you're building that roof. That's the most important thing right now, because I'm gonna put great glass here. But imagine what kind of roof they're gonna have. It's nice to go out in the evening, but this is the roof. And look around at the forest. What's going on here anyway? Normally, of course, nothing happens, so they'll go up and be like, aha, nothing happens, okay? I'm gonna go back up. There's like this going down to the first floor, and there's nothing going on here either. What the hell kind of boring life do we have in this village? Why don't we do something? something interesting instead of just walking around grumbling. Exactly. And then he'll think, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I think it's fine. Listening. You understand very well, it seems to me, how people live in the village. This and the villagers don't want to become a little bit even these villagers themselves would just go out, think emeralds, and that's it, basically. I think it's interesting, but I do. You are a very interesting addict. I will put books here so that people can come here and read, get new knowledge, educate themselves, and then become smarter. Maybe someday this village will become a big city. Because I put books here, but no, that will never happen. Good, that's great. We've already built one house, and now I suggest you build another beautiful house out of Earth. How do we like it, little brother? Make it something you'd live in? Well, you should build one part, and I'll build two. I'm gonna split these houses up like this, but they're gonna end up being one house. Let me help you. We'll put a floor here, and then we'll divide them somehow. Oh, honestly, you have no idea how much I love building these houses out of dirt. And I also want to add this detail of this hay here. It's just beautiful, too, just like here. Yeah, I like building them, too. I don't know, there's something so beautiful about them, like... Well, of course, I wouldn't add to it. These are the ones like you just added this red block right now. Is that even what is that? We will go into details. Just now the main thing to build when they are already there. Tsunami will come. There is something strange. It still does not come and does not come. And suddenly they just tricked us so that we, for their cool village, well, half the house is already built. That's a great result. What's that on your block? Oh yeah, it's some kind of magical glowing flu. Look what I came up with. This is where the bridge would be between the two houses, or you could say this place. And just one big house will be a glass pass 
passage so you can pass by and look out the window. What's going on? Suddenly a very funny pig will run by and trip and fall in a puddle. I'm thinking, what happens if it happens exactly when someone is crossing? Listen, this idea came to you just now, and it wasn't by chance because when you were looking out the window, I decided to go outside and slipped and fell in a puddle, and then I was all wet. And if a chicken leg gets wet, it starts to break. It smells like a chicken leg. Of course, someone wants to eat after that, but for me, it was not cool at all, and you laughed for a long time. We've already built this house. Just look at the work we've done. Now these residents can live in this huge house. And how many residents have moved into this house at once? I suggest you to build a big observation deck here, which will be our house too, because I want to live at a height and watch this village, how it will live in the future. A resident of this village came up to me now and told me what the tsunami is going to do. This tsunami is going to start because the earth is starting to shake. Of course, I didn't understand what he meant. The earth is shaking. Usually the earth shakes after I go to the toilet, but it seems to be affecting them as well, like a tsunami. Look, yeah, it's really weird that the ground is shaking, but it's already felt it in the moment, and I even got a little scared, so it's best we stay away from this ground and at a huge height. Look, I've got an idea. There's a tall pillar of green blocks, and I want to make it really tall, and we'll live right with you. You know, up in the sky, I think it would be cool, and if the residents want something from us, they'll have three hours. Guys, don't oversleep. It's actually started a long time ago. You just look out the window and see what's going on. Chicken leg, man. Wake up, we're coming. It's a huge wave. It's like a tsunami up to chicken leg. Wake up, it's about to flood the place. Wow, I've never seen such a huge amount. That's what it is. Our old house is about to get flooded, chicken foot. Are you awake or not? What's going on, you see? What the hell is that? I don't understand anything right now. Am I having this dream again or am I awake? Am I stupid? Excuse me, of course, it's our old house. It's like some kind of aquarium now, only it's not. Which is exactly what you'd call a water tank. So our house is a fishbowl. And where are you going? Just look at the funny dream I'm having. Wow, I didn't realize dreams were so realistic. It's like, I'm not even dreaming. I woke up a long time ago before the chicken leg. This isn't a dream. This is really happening in the residence. Why aren't you even reacting to this? Are you asleep too? Just standing in the street? Oh no, our house is behind. But we built it for so long. It's good that we protected it. Even if this tsunami ever just passes. Although I think now everything here will just be flooded forever. The knife on the house will remain. It's still made of ice. Trouble is cold. It should be all right. But these crops, what will happen to them? They will be destroyed now. Why did we build it like this? It's not there at all. There's an inhabitant stuck here and the inhabitant comes out. I'll save you, but you're saved. Wait, Nuggets, what are you doing in there? Well, wait, I just realized it's not really all that. I'm on my way down to you. It's very interesting to see what this huge amount of water is today, what this holiday is all about. Although when you have to go and bathe in the water, I think it just started today. And it is now we have been specially brought water. Yes, it's good to bathe together. Let's go swimming. I even have my swimsuit with me. No one ever makes a swimsuit, so I'll swim without one. It seems to me that you are still not out of the dream to go. That is, it seems to you that the forces are now of this reality. You're thinking of swimming in this huge pile of water that's coming at us. Yeah, I know it's not a huge speed. I even want to pop the water and he's fine. You can swim in it. I've got a denser one and I'm swimming in it now, but I don't think that's a good idea. I want to try to go into our old house and get all the stuff that's there. Is there any way? Actually put glass in this bed here. Oh, I told you it's a bad idea. Now there's no way to get in, is there? Like I'm gonna break through the water. That glass right there, what the hen's foot you've done. I'm gonna get air, horse. I'll be here forever and I'll be fertilizer for our flowers that grew here. Forgive me, please, but it's like you're the one who asked me to put glass there. Like, oh, how aesthetically pleasing it will look if there's glass over that bed above the water and there's no glass. So suddenly there's escape. I don't know mud and stuff. That's what you said yourself. Let's dredge up there. It's more like if there's no swimming here, then I get it. Now, of course, it will be blown away by this wave and everything we built, of course, these crops. Yes, that too. Now, for one moment, just to save the inhabitants in these houses, it turns Turns out that we had to build tall houses, but even our tallest house, which we could build, it is not so tall that we need. Okay, I'm going to run right now, and I'm going to run really fast. 
fast. And I'm going to see what's going on there, and look, it actually got there really fast. Except it was at the first cabins, and now it's covering the rights. The ancient inhabitants are still not moving. Oh no, it's already gotten to our huge house because it's tall. Oh, we could have lived in it a little longer if it wasn't so tall. There's a hole in the ceiling. Oh no, it's actually a house, okay? Livable, did you forget to put one block in? How did you not notice that there's one block missing? We could have stayed here for a while, but now there isn't. Where are you? Where did you go, chicken leg? Run as fast as you can and all the residents too. Well, how nuggets happened, we were running away from the tsunami, and we finally found it after ten days. This is the winter biome where it started to freeze. I almost made it out. Save me. I'm right there in the middle of it in the afternoon and got frozen right in this tsunami. We've been hurting for ten days. I'm sorry. While the chicken leg is there, wait there. You were just reminiscing today about how cool it is to be frozen. So stay there and I'll go, I guess. But okay, no, I can't leave you now. Okay, I'm saving everything. Sami's going again. Sorry, please forgive me. Bye, guys, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Put likes, subscribe to the channel. See you all later. And bye, bye, bye. Make sure to put like ten million likes. No better, kids. I don't don't even know that number. You know, there's a Google number like that, so Google the likes, please, if you don't mind. Of course, everybody, bye-bye Nuggets Chicken Leg.